What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Point Fighter Live. I'm here today with Barry Lobby. This is Point Fighter Live, and this is the Texas Tough Sport Karate Championships post show. And it was a great event. Congratulations. How are you feeling today? Oh, man, you're a little bit tired today. Just you know, laying on the couch watching football and kind of relaxing, uh, going through the social media. And, and, um, and my favorite part is, you know, afterwards, right, we're going back and seeing all the pictures and the videos from the tournament and everybody, how excited they were about their medals. And, uh, you know, that, that's probably, I mean, the, probably the best part of the thing is, is watching how everybody's reaction afterwards. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It was a great event. Man, you had some top, some top competitors there. It was like a, like, it was like a mini national, like, and that's what you're used to because, you know, you, you're used to having top competitors come in and you had competitors coming in from even Florida, outside of Texas, yeah. which is amazing. Illinois, and actually, New York. Yeah, New York. Yeah, New York. Illinois. There were some good teams there. We're, we're going to bring on Alex Mancias. Oh, wait, he got, he got locked off again. He was, he'll be joining us. He was the winner of the undisputed uh, division which was very exciting, by the way. That division was amazing. A lot of great fighters in there. And, but he also he also won in uh, – he, he won in forms and weapons. How do you do in forms and weapons? Yeah, yeah, he won in uh, forms and weapons. He had a tough competition, man. He, uh, him and Rashad Eugene uh, battling out again, right? They battled out real hard in, uh, on stage in AmeriKick and, and battled out again here. And uh, it was really exciting. Uh, he won some of those divisions. And um, and then took it to uh, unfortunately had a, a, a drop in in grands there and lost to a student uh, Chelsea Lopez which is which is awesome you know when you when you when you have a student that's up there with you it's it's all you know people say how how do you deal with that but it's it's awesome because your student that you trained is at that level with you now and it's nothing as a coach that's that's amazing so that was really cool to see them compete against each other and you know unfortunately he had the drop but I'm sure he wasn't you know he he wasn't he wasn't too sad about losing to her right so that was awesome. Yeah, no, yeah, Alex Mancias, we're going to bring him on. Now we're just waiting for him to come back. Now the event, before we bring him on, the event isn't actually over. There's still a virtual right. part it's not over. as it's well. It's not over. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so yeah. that's this week. Yeah, yeah, this week you can also, so now you can compete on the virtual side, right? So uh, it's, it's done a little different than than some uh, some other ways, right? So the Zoom, which is which is also an awesome way to do it, right? But um. But what you can do is this week you can train your form, you can video your form, and whatever, and you you take your best form. And I've done this with my students where you you know you, if you drop or you mess up, okay, no, that wasn't my favorite one, that wasn't my best form. Do it again, and you then when you go to register, you'll upload your video to the uh, to the registration. Um, so you just do it. You can now you can also do it on YouTube. You can upload it to YouTube and send the link, or you can upload it to your computer, right, and just upload it straight to the uh, to the registration page. And then you wait, right? And that's you can upload until Thursday night, and then Friday we're gonna have some like celebrity judges, right? We have uh, Edgar Cordova and Sushi Doss, and uh, some of these guys that are gonna help us uh, judge that, and they're gonna go through and judge all the divisions. And um, you know we have competitors signed up already from Germany and Guatemala uh, and all over. So you know we kind of say these Texas guys and everybody in the world can compete in this one. So you take the Texas and then versus the world. Now it's time to, to see if Texas Tough uh, can hold its own, right? So you can either take your video from my tournament and upload it so you can compete twice kind of there right you can compete oh yeah that's cool yeah, take, yep you can now you can't take your video from another event if you did yeah. it right uh, but yeah, it has yeah. to be new right so it has to be either our tournament or now and you can upload it and then say hey, compete against the world and it'd be pretty cool um and you know it's it's a less expensive to do this one right because there's not as much in-house right so it's 25 bucks to, to upload your first one and then even less for second third divisions um and yeah man you all the same form divisions uh but now virtual Awesome, awesome. Alex, what's up, man? The How's it going? What's going on? Everything good? Yeah, yeah. I, don't know. I was getting kicked off a couple of times, so but I'm, <laughs> no, it's I'm all here. Good. Yeah, it's all good. You're you're on right now. The power is on right now here. Hey, congratulations on everything, man. Uh, congratulations on everything that you're doing. The tournament uh, this weekend was great, and you know you looked amazing. You could see. You know your progression you're getting better and better every tournament and um how do you feel about your performance yesterday uh i mean i'm happy of course that i came back uh the undisputed champ uh first year going to this event bear lobby by the way awesome event great event definitely be back next year um yeah of course there's little mistakes that i made that i can work on but i definitely had a great time uh, not just competing myself but surrounding myself with world world-class athletes and being out there with my students and my team, team all out, um, along with representing Team Paul Mitchell Karate. So uh, I had a lot of fun. Yeah, for sure. How did your students do? How many did you take? So 
from Team All Out, it was five of us. Uh, we had Dante, Ashley, Chelsea, uh, Yaida, and Demi, which was the whole team for now. Um, and they came back with 18 total firsts, uh, including myself, but uh, kind of separating myself from them. We had five total grants and like two seconds. So uh, we, we had a great time. Amazing. Now, is that your first belt buckle that you've won or you've won belt buckles before? No, this is uh, this is my first year winning two. I got two wow. belt buckles. That's cool, man. That's yeah, let's cool. double them up, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bear, how, how do you, you know, you know, you've seen this guy grow up in Texas, right? From what, do you remember the first time you saw him at a tournament? Well, okay, so this is the thing is I, is I grew up watching his mom compete, right? Oh, so wow. I up, yeah, I grew up watching his mom compete. And then him growing up as a baby and seeing him come up, it's, it's you know, it, it's uh, it's like karate family down here, you know, a lot with it with, with all close knit and um, seeing him grow up and and it's just awesome to see him in this, you know, this professional young man champion now that uh, that that's amazing. And he's really, you know, I was telling somebody yesterday too, and they're asking about, so you know, the Alex is the epitome of like success, uh, success story, right? From Texas, right? From Brownsville, Texas, a small town in Texas, and uh, you know, comes from a karate family and just works his butt off. And uh, and gets the Paul Mitchell team right, and is now winning everything right. So he's a success story to all the all the kids here in Texas, and every especially everybody in Brownsville and in the South there. And um, you know, and that's why it's it's such he's such a big deal, right? He's such a big deal because he came, you know, and he's, he's a humble winner from from here, right? So he's our people, and uh, to see him win, the big thing that I think is super uh, awesome about about Alex is he does reforms and fighting, right? That's that's what it means a lot to me as a student. I make my students do both, and mm -hmm. um, you know, you have to have those those. They'll, you know both right and if you lead by example like that then then you'll have real martial arts competitors and, and not saying people that don't fight aren't martial arts competitors right because you you find your your niche but have doing both is amazing doing both makes you special and also alongside your having your your students there right so you're coaching and doing and, and competing right that's 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 what's really cool about about what alex does <laughs> yeah man this guy's only 18 years old, right? That's that's crazy. I hope you stick with it. Don't don't retire early like some of those guys. Okay, we need we need role models. We need champions. Now, he's not to, right? I don't he's a fighter. He's a fighter too. So you know, he's early retirement guy. Will. Killing me with the uh, role models. <laughs> for sure, for sure. <laughs> hey, now, how does it feel, Alex? You know, you're here fighting now. These guys that, you know, in the adult division that you would kind of like probably look up to, right? You know, all in the, in the area in Texas, uh, you know, you fight uh, Ryan, which is kind of in that close to the region too, a few times. And uh, he's, a, he's an adopted son of Texas. Yeah, yeah, he, he is. So how does it feel, man? How does it feel to go in there and just fight? You probably train with them a lot as well, right? So you're probably used to fighting, but in, does it feel weird fighting them in a tournament at all? Um, you know, it's, it's definitely different when you train, uh, train with, with someone, then you step in the ring with them. Right. Of course, because you want to win, right. You just want to win. You all want the best for each other. So you push each other. Um, but it, it's always a great time sharing the ring with, uh, with chance. I've shared the ring with Willie and then sharing the ring with Ryan. It was my first time moving with him. Um, it, it's an honor, man, because I, I looked up to these guys and I continue to do so, right. They're, they're, they're my role models growing up. And, uh, I just, I had a great time sharing the ring with them. Yeah, you had some good fights with Ryan there. I think you guys fought twice, right? Yes, we did. We did. That was awesome. They were great fights. I want to post them both on Point Fighter for sure. Um, they were great fights. Now, it's cool because Ryan, he did forms, right? And, and, and fight. Yeah, right, and Ryan, Ryan does weapons and forms too. Yeah, Ryan does weapons and forms. People remember that. And Chad, Chad yeah. Cannon does weapons and forms. Chance used to do the bow and was really good at the bow. Wow, also. that's right. Yeah. There's a few people that do multiple – uh, disciplines at tournaments. That's cool. That's that's cool. That's kind of like that area type of thing where it's where it's where it's good. And we need to see more of that. I think for sure. Now, Alex, th earlier this week, I saw you went to Century. You were over there and um, you know in their in their warehouse and stuff. Photo shoot. That was exciting, right? That was pretty cool. Tell us more about that. Yeah. So I was out there for a couple of days and I did a couple of uh, photo shoots and. Uh, I uh, got, I'm working on some projects with them uh, that I want to be a surprise. So uh, all I got to say, it's going to be very, very, uh, very awesome when, when it comes out. But uh, just to see the hard work that Century Martial Arts does for our sport, martial arts community and sport karate family, it's just amazing. I got to see how everything's made and uh, they, and they don't just make it and just make it, you know, they make it with love, with passion. And uh, it, it was, 
I was in awe most of the time. Like I wanted to take pictures and stuff, but I just want to take it all in, you know, seeing how, it, how the bags are made, how belts are made, how uniforms are made. And uh, just be able to see where all this comes from is, is amazing. And I'm, I'm glad I had the opportunity to see that. Hard not, it's hard not to fanboy there, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, so, um, the in your fighting right you're 18 years old uh we were talking earlier before the show when i was 18 i was a super lightweight and um i ended up retiring as a as a middle middleweight uh what what weight class are you are you planning on like sticking up sticking to for like the national events and stuff um it all depends like the uh the past the, my first two nascas that i've done which was us open and americic um, I've competed in the welterweight division, 60 to 69. Uh, that's where okay. I felt la uh, fast and light and strong. Um, but I know I'm probably not going to stay there forever. I'm getting bigger. I'm feeling, um, I'm getting stronger. So, uh, there is a chance I might move up, but for now I'm going to try and stick at that weight. If not, um, once I start feeling that my body wants to just keep on growing and keep getting stronger, I'm just going to move up. Yeah. That's good. That's who, good. who are you gunning for? Who, who have you not beat yet that you would like to fight? That's, that's a good question, right? Who, who have you not fought Ooh, that you're yeah. you or somebody you that you're like, spot there, not man. necessarily like you want, like you have a beef with it, but like somebody that you're like, oh, I look forward. I would love to fight that person on the circuit right now yeah. because I'd like to see how it goes. Oh, man. I, um, I don't know how to respond to this question, man. <laughs> you got Throw nine names out. Throw names out. You might beat it later, but. No, no, no. Um, but I definitely look forward, you know, to sharing them with the top, every top five weight class. You know, um, I know I've, uh, have my, I've fought uh, with Jason Latona. I haven't shared the ring with Enrique, so I know that'd be a great matchup. Um, it'd be, I'd look forward to share the ring with the vets as well. You know, Jack, Avery, um, just to, you know, cause I know the best and if I want to be the best, I gotta uh, be in the ring with the best, right? Yeah. You know, Bailey as well, um, you know, so yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to fighting every top, lightweight, heavyweight, middleweight, don't matter. Just want to share the ring with the best, that's all. Hey, it's great to see, you know, young fighters, young, good fighters, because it's always, you know, it, it always motivates the younger, um, you know, the juniors, you know, because sometimes juniors, you see they're good and then they just disappear as adults. But I think that when we see juniors move up to adults and they do well right away, I think it inspires other juniors to be like, okay, I can do it too. And I know that there's guys like you now and you're, you're just 18, you, you're on Paul Mitchell, um, you know, so that has to be inspiring to people. Bailey just came off the, you know, he's, he's been an adult for a few years now, but he came he on the radar as a junior. I remember all that just with Floyd this yeah. year too. So that has to be, you know, do you, do you think about that at all? Like, or do you get juniors that come up to you and tell you like, oh man, you did it. Like I'm next. Um, to be honest, not recently. Well, actually at Bear Lobby's tournament, Last week and had a couple of juniors come to me say, "Hey, uh, I've looked up to you for so long. You did, you did awesome." Uh, and I was like, "You know, that's an emotional moment for me, just to be able to be a role model for uh, these kids." So, um, but it hasn't happened that much yet. But I think that's because we just got the season going again yeah, post COVID. Yeah. Um, but I'm pretty sure um, it'll happen. I know I did it all the time. I did it all the time when I was a kid. Go up to all these top fighters, say, "Hey, you inspire me." I still do it all the time. So, um, but yeah, and then when you're in the ring with them, then it's a little different. It's just kind of a, you, you put, you put that emotion to the side and then you have to say, I just got to beat the guy in front of me. Right. That's yeah, pretty much what happens, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I, yeah I, don't, I don't know how you feel. Yeah. I don't know how you feel when, when, when you're, when you're older, right. And somebody beats you when coming up, oh, then right before the tournament, they tell you how much they inspire you. And then they line up against them. They beat you. And you're like, dang, man. Like, like okay. Hey, hey, you know what? Sometimes that's a good, uh, mind trick yeah. too, right? Like, I remember when I fought Pedro Xavier and, and Tony Young, I was like, oh, it's an honor to fight you. Right when we we're shaking hands, I just told him. <laughs> and that, that kind of like, I fought them well. Like, I don't know if that did anything. Of course, like, these guys are champions. But, uh, but, um, but yeah, you know, it could be some kind of a mind trick as well. Because imagine you're getting ready to fight somebody. They tell you, hey, I respect you so much. It's like. All right, you know, <laughs> it, 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 Chelsea trying to good. get in your head is that is that why you dropped the comma? Chelsea trying to get in your head right before you're, you're competed in grand. Right. They're, they're just saying, don't drop, do all this and that. And oh, yeah, <laughs> we're, we're just, 
they're just joking around, but um, that split second decision cost me for sure. <laughs> they will they did they will that to happen? Uh, I don't know. I I don't know. They just they were just being my family. <laughs> yeah. Hey, so Alex uh, Jackson just commented on uh, on the on the live stream here in the comment section, and uh, so what's up, Jackson? Thanks for tuning in. So how does it? So how's it been on Paul Mitchell now? How, how do you? How's it been? How's you know? How's everything been with your teammates? You've been to a few, one team event, right, with everybody? Well, uh, so he, yeah, and I got picked up Christmas of 2019, yeah. right? Um, then comes 20, uh, 2020 comes around. Uh, I believe Competes was our first team event. So I went to Competes, and I went to the Irish Open. That's and right, literally, man. I think for the right. Irish Open, it shut everything down. Um, and then I went to the U.S. Open and AmeriKick. So that's that's four, four yeah. team events. Um but it, it's it's been amazing, you know. I uh, this was one of my life lifelong goals and dreams, and in, in my martial arts career, uh, I literally put it down in my notes since going back probably to 2011. Like it's a little check, get on Team Paul Mitchell, get on Team Paul Mitchell, and I, I wanted I wanted to accomplish it and uh, to be able to have the opportunity to represent the black and white. It's truly an honor, and then to uh, compete and rock alongside Jackson, you know, Danny, Aiden. Sammy and now Haley, you know, it's 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 cool to be uh, representing with with my teammates. So much love to them all. Love them. Man, that's crazy. That's right. 2019. I even almost I even forgot like it was like to me, it was like now because but it's crazy because 2019, you're a junior, right? Then 2020, yes. you're still kind of a junior, right? So um, and then a lot, you know, the pandemic comes and it's really throws everything off. And like this year. And like in my brain, this is like the beginning for some reason for you. With yeah. that. You've been on with them for now two years. That's it. It's been like yeah. almost two years. Because, you know, of course, the pandemic kind of threw everybody off. And I've had like yeah. a few people like, hey, oh, I didn't know you're on the team. Congrats. And I was like, no worries. You know, uh, COVID kind of threw everybody off. But yeah, it's going to be going on two years this Christmas. A lot, I've, I've seen a lot of people. Like I remember seeing like Isabella doing an interview with, with some fighters. And some competitors and they're like she asking them questions from last year and this year and some of them have mixed up and it kind of like a twilight zone feeling where it's like it almost feels like it's been one year last year yeah. and this year combined you know it's weird <laughs> i did i try to remember how to do registration again and stuff i was like man like I, I, was all set up. I was like wait a minute do i do envelopes and wristbands do i write or do i not need to do that anymore i was that's so yeah it was and then I keep saying, oh, remember last year's, no, I mean, 2019's tournament. Not, yeah. For sure. Hey, so what's your next tournament? You're going to Diamonds? Of course. You know, I'm, I'm coming for them diamond rings. I got to go out there. Wow. <laughs> you wear that belt buckle. Oh, that's right. I'm going to walk, uh, walk in with a belt buckle, some boots, and a cowboy hat. That's how you intimidate those northerners, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. That's awesome. Hey, so – um. So that's great. It's it's uh, it's been it's been great to have you on the show. Congratulations again. Texas Tough was amazing, and it's just, it's just it's great to see. You know, Texas Texas has so much talent, man. And it just you know, and there's some great tournaments there, and you know, it's just amazing. It was a, a very well ran event. I know that the adults, you guys were doing fighting early. It was it was pre done pretty early, right? Yeah, yes. early compared to like some of these tournaments where you yeah you don't fight till three or four o'clock right yeah. so you know, we, yeah. but there's also many there's so many divisions to do right you had you had Waco fighting yes. and, and and your eighteen plus and then you're undisputed and all that so you had multiple fights yeah so we I think we started pretty early like what was it like twelve maybe maybe right. around twelve thirty we started maybe with the Waco yeah, yeah. twelve we, yeah, twelve thirty with Waco and literally as soon as Waco started like all the fighting divisions and here's one thing I'll say about that I really liked about the way you ran it bear on. So um, we did our weapons and forms divisions and then grants was run like shortly after for weapons and forms. So then I, I was, I was um, because it's kind of hard, you know, that's, that's the tough thing about forms, weapons and fighting, but you know, you get used to it when you got to change out, change back and then refocus for this, refocus for that. Um, so I was able to just get the forms and weapons grants out the way, uh, which unfortunately I dropped, I lost to my cousin team all out, but, um, and then I just went to Waco and went to the Waco divisions, the the weighted divisions, the individuals, and then undisputed. So it was pretty much a smoothly, uh, very well, well run event. So 
props to you on Barrel and doing that. I love that setup. I, th I think I think being uh, being a competitor in this generation really helps me be uh, court, uh, organize the, the events yeah. and everything, right? Because I, I know, I mean, I still know what it's like to be competitive. It's been a while, I, 2018, I guess, last one, but. Um, <laughs> But but being you know being able yeah we do we do forms grands right after all those divisions are done so as soon as those divisions that are qualified for grands are done then we immediately do the grands for that that way as a competitor you can do forms weapons and then that grands and then you can concentrate on fighting so you don't have to come back because I know you know having to wait all day long for the tournament to the very end and then they have grands and you're tired and everything or you've just fought now they're like okay put your yeah. stuff on and do forms grands you're like man I don't really want to anymore yeah so. Yeah, thank you for for pointing that out man it, it uh, makes you feel good it makes all that time and effort organizing and coordinating and, and, and doing all the ring assignments and stuff worth it right for to hear the the competitors actually uh, benefit from it yeah for sure. yeah for sure it was it was that you know you're doing a great thing you've, you've been doing tournaments for a long time and everything's always first class and this one's no different so anybody that's watching you you want to be part of the tournament you still can and if you competed you could still compete this week and we're, we're finishing off the event uh, of the virtual divisions and that you can compete in all the same divisions that there were at the event for forms and weapons. So all you gotta do is go to my eventtex.com and, and go to Texas Tough Virtual and just boom, upload your video. Um, by when do they have to upload it? By by Thursday. So yeah, I mean, and just just know that when you do register, you need have you, you know it's good to upload your video at the same time. So that way same easier. time. So yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. As soon as you register, it'll ask you have a thing and upload it. Um, and then I guess a couple announcements real quick. So next year we're going to a thousand dollars for undisputed division. Um, so if you're if you're willing to come in, you know, and do that, we're doing a thousand. Oh, oh. And uh, we're also going to add. Uh, we're also going to add women's women's undisputed for the first time for five hundred bucks. So, Amazing. Uh, we're, we're gonna do that. We used to have thirty five plus and, and add a couple of them, but but I think uh, I we've hey, you know, you is it going to be around the same weekend? I'm looking at that right now. I'm looking at that. Um, I did have some other events. I try to I'll always try to avoid events. I don't care what league or whatever. I try to avoid other events because it's, it's just not good for anybody to have multiple events on the same day. It just doesn't help anybody. So, um, you know, so trying to always look, I used to be in November and I really liked that. I moved to October. Um, but then with the pandemic, some other tournaments moved like, like diamonds moved October. Yeah. I, I didn't want to be before diamonds. Like <laughs> you were in November before. So I might, we'll, we'll play with it and see if I want to go back to November or stay in October um to try to avoid other events and the best for everybody so we'll see yeah for sure no for sure with diamonds moving that meant that pan ams also had to move right because yeah you gotta be in november now yeah yeah they moved. But i think they're going back to november next year so diamonds uh for diamonds yeah i think uh because i saw this uh it's on my birthday weekend next year i think the 20th through the 22nd right so well, yeah, my birthday, i'll make sure birthday, I my birthday's the 19th, so I'll be 19 in a couple of okay. weeks. Damn. So that's in October, though, right? October yes. next year? Okay. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah, I think my dad told me he's staying in November next year, too. So, um, so yeah, man. Hey, thanks for joining us, guys, today. Thanks for coming on on Sunday. Great event. I had to have you on right away, Alex. You know how I love to bring you on, and, and I haven't talked to you on the show in a, in a bit. Congratulations again on your win. Say hi to your mom. She's always great, and just keep doing it, man. I've been seeing you grow up, and I knew you were going to get to this point, and this is just the beginning, all right? So keep it up, all right? Take care, Bear. You, great job at the Appreciate tournament. It. Awesome event. Take care to everybody out there watching. Have a great Sunday. Power, baby.